table on a flat surface, have someone to call 911 and begin CPR. And I'm gonna say this with the adults and children as well. Each time you open the airway, you just look for the obstructing objects. You won't be able to give breath because their airway is obstructed. Okay, with adults and children, of course, they're gonna be making the choking sign. They're not gonna be able to breathe or talk. They may try to cough. You do want to encourage them to cough as much as possible. And of course, you do want to get consent. Are you choking? Yes, can I help you? And of course, they're going to say yes if they need help. So you're going to have them to bend over, all the way over like this. And with the palm of your hand, in between the shoulder blades, you're going to do five firm back slaps. One, two, three, four, five. Then have them to stand up straight. You're going to get behind them and place your foot in between theirs, wrap your arms around them, find the belly button, make a fist, and place your thumb against the belly, above the belly button. Take the other hand and do five abdominal thrusts by pushing in and up, in and up. If the object doesn't um, come out, you're gonna do, do it again, have them to bend over, do five firm back thrusts. One, two, three, four, five. Have them to stand up again. Get behind them. Wrap your arms around them. Find the belly button. Fist above the belly button. Use the other hand and push in and up. Do five abdominal thrusts. In and up. Okay, if they're pregnant or extremely large, you're going to push into the chest instead of the stomach. And you're going to keep doing that as many times as need be until either the object is um, dislodged or if they become unresponsive. If they become unresponsive, you're going to lower them to the ground, have someone to call 911 and get an AED and begin CPR. And again, with adults and children, uh, you're going to open the airway and see if you see the object. Um, if you don't see the object, just keep doing compressions.